Hello, my lords and ladies. Joe here. Has the MMO you've been playing no longer wowing you, but you feel a little cheated about giving your money to another product? It, like, and every time I, I play WoW, like, I'm like, man, I, I really, I really want to die. Maybe you've seen a bald man lightly petting a pussycat and thought you'd like to give it a try. But you don't want to seem like a simp and give out your credit card information before taking her out on a date. Maybe you're like me, where a virus from an unspecified origin turned the world upside down and you found yourself without an income and a ton of free time. <laughs> well, do I have something to tell you. Have you ever heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV with an extended free trial which you can play through the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven's Ward expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime? Because I have. I am a Final Fantasy XIV trial player, but I'm not what you would consider a normal trial player. I'm the goddamn king of trial players. I'm not dipping my toes in, rushing to the end and deciding if I want to shell out the big bucks to continue. I'm gonna buy, wait, what the fuck? I'm gonna buy skipping store. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. I'm here to squeeze every drop of content I can out of this game. I've logged over a thousand hours on three different alts That's quite big. Impressive. And I haven't even scratched Heaven's Port. And, my fool friend, that's where I can help you. I can help you get all that you can from Square Enix's generous offer. All right, let's get down to business. The very first thing you need to do, and this is important, is to... Like, comment, and subscribe, baby! <laughs> Seriously, it would mean a lot. I'm just starting out and for me to get anywhere, I'll need all the help I can get. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's start with what the trial is, what its limitations are, and how badly they'll affect your gaming experience. As told through an actual trial player. I'm not trying to knock on anyone out there, but when I see other content creators giving advice, they are giving it through a paid player perspective. So don't listen to them with their money and their production value. Listen to me, a guy who can't afford a professional microphone. So the free trial is basically what the meme told you. You get the base game of Realm Reborn, you get Heaven's Word, and there's no limitations on time. That means your level cap is at 60 and the zones and jobs are limited to the base game in the first expansion. And once you cap, you can continue on your merry way. No cutoff screen asking you to pony up or anything. Seems pretty fair to me. Dare I say generous. Let's go through the limitations as told through Square Enix themselves. Free trial players are not required to purchase the licensed software to use the free trial. Yep, not so much a limitation so much as a freedom. Seems pretty good to me. One, and one again there, Free trial account may be registered to a Square Enix account so long as the Square Enix account has not been previously registered with any version of the game. Yeah, uh, story time here. I actually played Final Fantasy XIV a while ago, and I actually paid for it. <gasps> well, it didn't last long. And when I decided to give Final Fantasy another shot, while my old characters were still there, I couldn't opt in for the trial account, even though I hadn't been a Realm Reborn, and at that point, none of my characters had even gotten to level 60. So, if you ever pay for this game, you will never be able to go back to free. That is, unless you make a new account. Shh, don't tell anyone. That's why it's important for you to get as much free from this game until you decide to finally submit and give Square all your cash, along with your free time. Free trial players can purchase select in-game items from the Final Fantasy XIV online store during the free trial. 
not all in-game items are available for purchase by free trial players, e.g. in-game item gift codes. Huh. Even I didn't know about this. Okay, so you can give Square some of your money for items and still stay on the trial account, which is cool, I guess. But I wouldn't be much of a freeloader if I actually paid for stuff. But there are cool emotes, fashion items, and mounts in the pay store. Most items are actually from seasonal events that are no longer available. Good to know you can pay a little, but you aren't roped into the monthly subscription if you do so. Free trial players can create up to 8 playable characters restricted to 1 playable character per world. <laughs> not an issue in the slightest. As you may or may not know, Final Fantasy XIV is not an alt-friendly game, especially for trial players. This is in no small part because they're almost obsolete. Every job can be done on one character, and if you want to make an alt, being on one world is not very limiting, as you can travel to other worlds, and soon to other servers through major city authorites. But yo! I hear you astutely say. Didn't you say you have alts? Well, my friend, that's because I enjoy the old RP session with different characters. And that's literally the only reason I can think of that you would want to make an alt. Free trial account characters have all their levels capped at level 60. Yep, not much to say about that. Once you hit 60, that's it. You can switch to other jobs and level them, but Everyone, including Crafting and Gathering, will be capped at 60. Free trial account characters can possess a maximum of 300,000 gil in-game currency. This is a mixed bag. There's nothing available to you in the trial that will actually cost you over 300k. However, this cap is achieved rather quickly, and soon you will feel like you are wasting the gil that you receive. Also, if you are planning on eventually buying the game, there are things that will cost you well over the gill cap. I'm planning on doing a Trials Player's Guide to Gill, so stay tuned. Free Trial Players cannot use the Shout, Yell, or Tell in-game chat options during the free trial. This one kind of stinks. Not being able to shout out means you're kind of like a mute in this world. If the world boss spawns and you want to ask for help, or worse, ask where it even is, sorry buddy, no dice. Worse still, if someone private messages you, you can't PM them back. People might ask you a question, or tell you that your glam looks good, or whatever, and then you're stuck looking like an arrogant ass who doesn't take the time out of the day to type a simple TY. I do, however, have band-aids for this setback. If someone PMs you, you can quickly right-click their name and then select target. If they're still in target range of you, you can see where they are, run up to them and explain to them that you're a penniless pauper. If you make friends and they ever want to converse with you, you can tell them that they can invite you to a party to form a direct way to chat. Don't worry, they won't remember, and they'll just keep sending you messages. And yeah, uh, Discord's a thing, apparently? You're able to join link shells in cross-world link shells, so if you make friends who invite you to one, you can communicate with them that way. There's also the novice network, which you need an invitation to gain access to. You can use it for all those newbie questions that you would otherwise be tempted to use your shouts for. But, as I said, this is an invitation-only chat channel, and on all my characters, I've only ever gotten this invitation once. And the only question I asked was, how do I mute this channel? Free trial players cannot access the in-game market board during the free trial. Free trial players cannot trade with other players during the free trial. I'm lumping these two in together because they're basically the same. When it comes to items, you cannot interact with other players. And it really sucks. But I can give you a silver lining. Everything you want, you must earn. It's a strange, masochistic pride knowing that you will never be able to just buy something from someone, or be given something. See that awesome glam gear? Yeah, I made that. See that minion? 
how to get it myself. See this goddamn relic weapon? No shortcuts for me. <laughs> no, no, no. But it still sucks. Crafting loses all money-making possibilities and you can never receive a gift. If there's a community event going on and some nice player is handing out items, you will be the odd man out. This also keeps you from getting anything outside of the trial, so some of that fancy Shadowbringers glamour, that will be out of your possession. Free trial players cannot send in-game letters using the Moogle delivery service during the free trial. Psh, Moogles. Thinking they've got the monopoly of messaging services. With so many other resources that you can use outside of the game to get in touch with people, this is not a problem. Free trial players cannot hire retainers during the free trial. Another big downside. Not only do retainers go out and get you good things such as minions and rare dyes, but the biggest issue is that they also work as your storage space. Without them, you are stuck carrying everything you own with only your chocobo saddle bag to lighten the burden. This is especially bad if you plan to craft. It's a constant struggle of picking which things to throw out and which things you may need to keep. So, make sure to unlock the saddlebag after you get your chocobo by speaking to Dossette at Camp Tranquil in South Stroud to do the quest, My Feisty Little Chocobo. Free trial players can join a link shell or a crossworld link shell if invited, but cannot create a new link shell or a crossworld link shell during the free trial. I've already mentioned this, it really hasn't been an issue from what I've experienced. I never planned on creating any link shells, but I've joined a couple in my journeys. For those who don't know, link shells are basically mini full companies, or guilds as they're commonly known in other MMOs. So basically, they just allow communication between a group. Free trial players cannot create or join a free company during the free trial. While this is not a major setback, it's still not that great. If you see a chocobo that's every other color but yellow, yeah, you need a free company to do that. Want to have a small room in a large full company house? It's not going to happen. Free companies give out buffs as well, but from what I can tell, they're pretty negligible. It would be nice to join them, but it's not that big of a deal. And hey now, when some rando comes up to you and asks you to join their free company, you now have the perfect excuse to turn them down. Free trial players can join a party if invited or by using the duty finder, but cannot assemble a party during the free trial. This isn't really too much of a problem. You'll have no problems using the duty finder, which is where parties are formed by random people who are also using the duty finder, and you can join parties through the party finder. Unfortunately, this means that you are at the mercy of the party finder. So if you want to start a dungeon party or a raid, you are up the creek. Now, of course, MMOs are more fun when played with friends. So what if you and a buddy join together, both under the trial? Does that mean you won't build a party together? Not necessarily. I joined with a friend. And what we did is we would hang around an Aetherite in one of the major cities and we would just ask people to form a party with us. It wouldn't take long for a random person to invite me and my friend to a party and then they would leave. Bam! We were partying together. Free trial players cannot create or join PvP team or participate in the Feast ranked match or the Feast team ranked match during the free trial. If you know anything about Final Fantasy XIV's reputation for PvP, then you know its reputation isn't that good. The Feast, as it says, is ranked matches. They get some of the most rare mounts in the game. And they aren't even reskins, they are usually completely original. So if you're interested in that, sorry, it's a no-go. But actually, this is a little deceptive. Because, as of this recording, trial players are not allowed in PvP at all. This has to do with bots from an unspecified origin running amok in the game. They said it would be temporary, but that was in February. I kind
kind of think they forgot about it. Hopefully we'll be allowed back soon. Free trial players cannot log into the Lodestone, the official forum, or companion app application during the free trial. Meh. This never really interested me. I haven't heard good things about the companion app. This doesn't affect your gameplay, so I never even noticed. If you ever have any real issues, you can fill out a complain form in-game. There we have it. Hopefully this gave you some insight to what the limitations are like. And in case you haven't figured it out, I'm enjoying the game. There's a lot more that the game allows you to do than it takes away. So if you're thinking of trying it, I say give it a shot. What do you have to lose? Thank you all for watching. I plan on doing more content about Final Fantasy XIV through a trial player's perspective. Drop a comment if you are a trial player, thinking about becoming one and have any questions, or even if you've graduated into a full subscriber. I'll see you in the world of tomorrow.